Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a small update on this uh, 24 magnet 12 pole rotor uh, setup over here. I have a basic pulse motor circuitry, very simple, some wires, a capacitor, a diode, a neon, and that's it. I have it now, I have a multimeter connected on it. Uh, the capacitor has now yeah, 0 0.13 volts, gonna short it out, so there's nothing in there, as you can see, zero. And just give it a little spin by hand like this, as you can see, and the neon, you can clearly see the neon going. So it is not purely momentum that's let it spin, but it is really pulsing also, as you can see on the neon. And the voltage in the capacitor now is decreasing, of course. I'm gonna put a where's that battery? I had a battery. Ah, a dead, almost dead battery on there, like this. I have now 7.3. Yeah, it's wiggling around. You know how it goes with back EMF. And it's running pretty good. Nice and simple. I'm gonna let you see the neon in the dark, as you can see. The neon is flashing uh, pretty decent. The battery and lights out again. Wait a moment, I'm gonna turn it by hand a little bit to increase the voltage in the capacitor, like that turn out the lights as you can see it is running now on a little bit of momentum of course and also still pulsing otherwise you won't be seeing any high spikes in the neon so yeah simple setup to play with it's a little bit interesting yeah I think I've shown enough what is also possible to do is uh, put a uh, LED on here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it flashing. In other words, as you can, as this now is a, uh, you can pull the rotor with it, but you can also use it as a uh, uh, output circuit. Anyway, going to stop the video. Remove the neon bulb and put in one of these uh, gas tube spark gaps. Give me a second. Doggy doggy, I'm back. As you can see, I have removed the neon which was here, and now I have one of those uh, gas tube spark gap. Gonna turn it by hands once more to increase the voltage in the capacitor. The capacitor is only 1000 UF. Now it's around 13 volts now and decreasing, of course. Turn on the lights and you can see that orange bit that's the spark gap tube, the gas tube lighting up in the dark. So, yeah, it is working pretty good actually. And the voltage is decreasing, of course, in the capacitor. Let me go back to 13 volts by hand. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, the discharge rate is not that bad. Put that uh, battery on there. And we'll keep running. Nothing spectacular. Very simple and fun. Uh, I will put a schematic. I don't think I need to put a schematic at the end of the video, but I will put it anyway for those are uh, beginners. And by the way, it's for those uh, experts out there. Normally, you have the diode and uh, and the uh, how do you say that? Um, and the back EMF in uh, series, but the um, the neon not 
Anyway, that's not a good explanation. Anyway, just check the, the diagram. You will see what I mean. In other words, the back EMF coming is in series with the spark gap and the diode. Same goes when the needle was in place in series. So it's not your usual kind of thing because I don't do usual. Anyway, as you can see, once more removing the battery. Spin it by hand, increasing the uh, voltage and the energy in the capacitor, let it run down, of course on momentum, but as you can see over there, there's some nice uh, back EMF going to that uh, gas spark gap too, anyway. Oh uh, yeah, I will put a diagram about both. At the end of the video, as always, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching.